Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you already know, this is your U.S. General Rule 5 Draw 2 card with side tray and deep compartment. And as always, state as usual, I always keep my signature lingering somewhere in the background, my Dunkin' Donuts coffee, okay? Okay, today is uh, Friday. As you can see, we just made it over to the storage unit. Okay, I did uh, receive a few things, been waiting. Um, unfortunately, had a little mix-up with one of the deliveries this morning, so unfortunately, I have to make my way down to the post office um, to pick up um, quite a few other items probably tomorrow morning because they're still out on the delivery truck, but I did uh, receive quite a few things. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this little tool hole real quick, and we're going to dive right in. Walk with me. Okay, as you can see, I have um, quite a few packages sitting on top of the tool card. I got my box cutters out, okay? So I'm going to get um box open. going to take a look at these contents, take a look at what it do, see what we received and what we didn't receive. All right, let's get to it. Okay, on the um, first package, um, we'll be taking a look at here this is a um snap on 3 8 breaker bar this is um an extra addition um to some breaker bars that i already previously have all right i'm gonna get this out the plastic so we could take a look at it so that i could basically uh get you the part number all right okay as you can see here this is a 12 inch and the part number is fm bb12 Okay, this is uh, basically a 3-8 drive, so this is, you know, going to go excellent, you know, along with um, quite a few others that I have. You know, I do have um, the half-inch, 24-inch um, long breaker bar, and I also have the 18-inch 3-8 drive. I'm just basically uh, lacking the quarter-inch now so sometime down the road i you know i will throw that in the selection of things okay so we're gonna move along okay we're gonna move along into this box now so i'm gonna get the box cutters out um get the contents out this box right here and we're gonna jump right into it okay if you uh basically follow any of my videos um you would know um, that I have a large extensive um, amount of selection of snap-on sockets, okay? Um, in the past, I have been building on certain particular SAE standard sets um, that I'm technically lacking in my selection of sockets, okay? Um, when it comes to the tool cart, you know, there's certain specific tools in the tool cart, but, you know, I do have a whole different line of equipment um, when it comes to snap-on products, all right? So as you can see, um, I did receive an item. I got it out of still in the bubble wrap, so I'm going to get that out, and we're going to basically take a look at this. Okay, what you're looking at is a 13-piece um, inverted torque set, okay? And the part number is 2138FLEY. Okay, with quarter inch, um, what is this, three eighths and half inch, okay, and you see it runs from E6, E8, E10, E11, uh, E12, E14, E16, E18, E20, and E24, okay, give you a good idea what's going on the prior moment all right so that's just basically what that is on the talk set okay okay now we're going to move along uh to the next following package here all right so got to get the boss cutters again get the contents out we're going to dive right into it Okay, as you can see, it's a lot of, you know, packaging, so I got to get the item from out the packaging real quick, you know. They go crazy sometimes with all the extra, you know. It's not even really that serious, but it is what it is. Okay, basically, uh, what you see coming out of this box, 
Um, this is your Oxygen O2 sensor kit right here. Um, I believe the part numbers for these are the wrenches SWR1 and um, this is SRW2. Um, the tray that it came in could be cleaned up a little bit. The tray is a little damaged, but you know, I'm not purchasing basically um, for the tray. I'm mainly more purchasing, you know, for the tools itself and the tools are in um excellent good condition testically compared um to the tray that it sits in i possibly could get a replaceable tray if i decide to go that route if i you know just happen to want to keep them um in a tray okay but as you can see it has its snap on logo uh let's see if we get a part number here as you can see, part number is SWRI, made in the USA. Okay. And um, if you could get it to focus in. And this is SWR2, made in the USA. Okay. See, it's a little clean. As you can see here, towards the inside, it's like it just fell through on the inside. But it could either be cleaned up or, um, like I said, I could replace the tray. The tray is technically nothing. We ain't um, purchasing tools for trays. But, you know, it just basically it is what it is. If it comes with it, it comes with it. If it don't, it don't. But, you know, that's what it is in that package right there still got one more to get to over here so let's dive right in okay so now what you can see <clears throat> this is your sae standard half inch drive um set right here this is the uh nine piece set right here um there is a bigger size set um which comes in um 13 pieces i actually um picked up this set right here knowing that I could have just uh, purchased the 13 piece set but I was uh, fortunate enough to catch this set for you know a real reasonable price um, testically compared to the original 13 piece set and I actually do have the other four sockets on their way coming right now so basically um, for the price of me purchasing um, this nine piece set and with the exception of the other four sockets that are coming with a um the tray for the 13 piece i basically paid a whole lot less than what it would have had cost for me to just basically purchase the initial 13 piece set from either off the truck or online okay so you know that's um basically what that is okay these sockets are um brand new see they oil down it's never been used to see okay but yeah you know that's um just basically what that is at the prior moment all right yeah so pretty much you know those were um the actual pickups you know that i just received at the moment but like i said i got quite a few things coming along so you know if you stay tuned with the videos and you follow the videos you would know you know just as fast as i receive things you know the viewers is always getting the uh first bird's eye view just as well as myself okay um like i said you know when i did pick up um the snap on uh three eighth drive uh breaker bar that you see here that i showed earlier um i do not too long ago i did uh pick up this one right here which is also 3 8 drive, but this is um, more of the longer version. Actually, let me pull them out real quick so that you can get a good look at the lengths on them. Let me see something here. Just give me a second. Okay, now that I uh, got them out so that you can, you know, just get a length comparison, the smaller one is the one that I just um, basically just picked up. Okay, and uh, roughly not too long ago, I picked up the second one in line, which you can also see is a 3 8 drive, and then the one that's basically um, sitting to the back, that's the 24-inch long right there. Okay. 
So yeah, you know, that's pretty much what that is. And as you already know, these are the snap one double um extra long boxing wrenches here. Okay. I've showed these in um quite a few videos. So you see I gotta stretch my arm all the way out so that you can basically see the wrench because that's basically how long they are. Okay, these are very smooth in its ratcheting design. I really, really like these wrenches right here, but these, um, honestly, are very expensive. The set runs for about five oh five on a truck. Okay, and online. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, you know the ratchet drawer is still getting crazier and crazier. You know, with the extra added on additions. You know, there's quite a few things, you know, that I still, um, technically want to pick up, you know, and add on, as you can see back there is the 102 photo head, and then you have the quarter inch, uh, still need to get the, uh, 3 drive on a quarter inch body, you know, as an add on to that, um, and there's another, um, particular zero degrees offset ratchet and 3 drive, um, soft grip, comfort grip, um, that I'm lacking, that I absolutely want to pick up, but, it's not really important at the moment. There's some other things um that I'm getting to at the prior moment. Soon I'm gonna be um upgrading and um discarding a couple of things that I have back in my other storage in another state and um quite a few things that I actually have here at this storage that are actually of um you know use to me. But that's mainly more um when it comes to um charging system equipment. All right, but yeah, you know, that's just basically what it is. As you can see, you know, got the 24 inch longs. So that's why you see the heads flexed at the, um, the back of the drawer. Um, testically, you know, not for nothing. Um, quite some time ago, I used to, um, have the four drawer U.S. General tool cart also at the same time as this five drawer U.S. General tool cart, and not for nothing, what I always liked it about the four drawer, um, testically compared to the five drawer U.S. General, is that these long 24 inch um, flex head ratcheting um, ratchets, I didn't necessarily have to flex the heads in order to lay them inside the drawers. In the U.S. General four drawer you are capable of just basically sitting these ratchets inside the drawer without actually having to flex the heads in order for them to fit. You know, that's just something to think about. But um, the difference between um, those drawers and these drawers, these drawers are deeper. Um, they, as far as the width, the, the width is longer on these drawers. Uh, but the length of the four drawers is a whole lot much more um wider okay and length okay so you know that was another reason why i had to discard the four drawer tool cart because of a lot of different equipment that i have actually has blow molded cases so you know i just chose to use this five drawer um u.s general tool cart you know as my stationary as my move around so this is why i never loaded this cart you know with um basically all snap on items or you know just basically tool truck brand items as you can see you know that i have but you know that's just basically what that is all right yeah and probably sometime soon i guess uh, when I get around to it, as you can see, I already put, you know, the SWR2 here, you know, I keep the um, oxygen sensor wrench over here, keep it accessible to me, okay, but maybe sometime soon or whatever the case might be, if I happen to locate a, a different tray or, you know, I clean up um, the tray that it came in and I'm capable of fixing it, I may just use it, I don't know. You know, it's not really necessary. It's just when it comes to certain equipment, I already know um, when I go to change my tool storage, I know that certain particular equipment and certain tools will be coming from out of this cart. And then I have uh, another list of equipment um, that will take up the space from quite a few items that will come actually away from this cart. 
okay so you know that's just basically what it is um later on when i get the time and i'm sitting down i'll put um the links you know in the description to all the items you know that was displayed and demonstrated in this particular video i just i don't know them offhand at the prior moment i'm just you know just making it to the storage and i'm just pulling out the items randomly and just shooting this footage like always you know nothing is re really pre-planned i just do this um simultaneously you know on my spare time for the viewers but you know that's just basically what it is all right All right, so, you know, until the next tool haul, uh, probably tomorrow when I get the opportunity and the time, got to see what's going on um, with this post office, you know what I'm saying? Once I realize, you know, the items is there and I can get them back to the storage, then I'll throw them up in the review so that everybody can get a um, good bird's eye view just as well as myself, okay? Like I said, today is Friday, so, you know, everybody enjoy um, your weekend out there. Keep it a blessing, a safe one, as always. And into the next one, we're going to check you later. Peace.